So I'm speaking for the record as somebody who, at this point in time in my life, even with a government that I'm deeply suspicious of at the minute, does not have a problem with compulsory ID cards for everybody in the country. Um, I can see how they might be used to do things that I'd be uncomfortable with or troubled by, but those are hypotheticals. And, and though valid, they're not yet clamorous enough to undermine my cautious support for it, which is built in part upon the fact that they already exist in many other countries, most notably in many other European countries. I think in Belgium, you're required to carry it at all times. And, and I know that, that civil liberties arguments that didn't land very heavily on me in, in my younger days now do because just because you don't think this government would use a measure it introduces for evil doesn't mean that a future government might use the same measures previously introduced for evil and if they do it's your fault for waving them through when you didn't think the government that introduced them was going to use them for evil in the future. But even against that backdrop, I think I'd be comfortable with compulsory ID cards. It is simply a document that confirms your residence here. That's how I see it. That's the first thing you can pick apart, like a, like a rotten tomato, should you so, show, so desire, but in all the usual ways. 03456060973. Um, here you go. I, I, I've been here as well. James, I'm a student. I carry my ID everywhere. Um, it, to buy a drink in a pub. So whether you're trying to prove that you're over 18 or whether you're trying to prove that you're a student in order to avail yourself of generous discounts in various hostelries and restaurants, I, 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 I don't know. So, so there's all that there. Um, but a voter ID card, I cannot see any positive point to in a country where there's next to no electoral fraud. There'll be some tweaking to the postal votes there'll be a limit on how many postal votes an individual can submit i can see some sense in that you know the, the fears that you, you just sort of go around the houses find the family members who don't care particularly about politics almost fill in their ballots on their behalf and post them in so you put a limit on how many ballots any one individual can submit in any one batch that seems to me to be fine but and i think it's important to stress cautious support for a, even a Belgian model of ID cards. When I say to you, I cannot think of any rationale for voter ID cards that isn't at best suspicious and at worst downright sinister. Okay, caveat, final caveat. If they're free and they're sent automatically to everybody who's eligible, almost all of my reservations disappear. OK, so if that turns out to be what they are and what they look like, we can look back upon the next 40 odd minutes of broadcasting with a wry chuckle and say, oh, well, thank goodness for that, lads. Uh, it never actually happened. So if they're completely free and they are sent out automatically to everybody eligible in the country, then all of my suspicions and fears will dissipate immediately. But if they're not, why are they bringing them in?